Beth Matthews Inquest. Mental health blogger died after taking poisonous substance bought online A mental health blogger from Cornwall died after taking a poisonous substance she had bought online. An inquest has heard. Beth Matthews, 26, who had been a support worker from Menheniot near Liscard, died on March 21, 2022, after ingesting the substance. She collapsed in front of hospital staff after telling them it was protein powder she had ingested. She had been detained under the Mental Health Act and transferred to the Priory's Cheadle Royal Psychiatric Hospital in Stockport for specialist therapy. The hearing was told Beth, a former pupil of Devonport High School, took took the poisonous substance after she opened a package bought on the internet. Beth quickly became unwell at around 1.15 p.m. on March 21 last year and paramedics were called, reports the Manchester Evening News. She suffered a cardiac arrest and was rushed to Withenshaw Hospital where she was pronounced dead at 3.55 p.m. The inquest heard that Beth had suffered with mental health from an early age and was diagnosed with emotionally unstable personality disorder. She suffered severe injuries in a failed suicide attempt after jumping from a bridge in April 2019. The coroner told the jury of six women and five men women hearing the case at South Manchester Coroner's Court. Her injuries caused significant long-term pain and disability. Assistant coroner Andrew Bridgman told them opening the case. In 2021 she suffered a further deterioration of her mental health and was detained under the Mental Health Act at a hospital in Cornwall. Then in November 2021 she was transferred to the Priory in Cheadle for Specialist Dialectical Behaviour Therapy, DBT, which is where she was a patient at the time of her death in March of the following year. In a statement read to the court, Beth's mother Jane Matthews said her daughter was a bright and vivacious girl who would light up the lives of everyone she met. Ms. Matthews described Beth, who she said was proud to call herself a Cornish girl, as caring, intelligent, and articulate, and said she had a quick sense of humor. She was a talented sailor who won lots of trophies and competed in the renowned fast net race aged just 15 as well as becoming a member of the Royal Yacht Club. Keen musician Beth played both the guitar and the piano and had a number of pets including her beloved cat Sparkles. Ms. Matthews said she never reached her potential due to the mental illness which overshadowed her later years. However, she said, people were attracted to her personality, which was evidenced by the huge Twitter following she gained. She touched the lives of so many people, Ms. Matthews added. And as a result she was able to help those who reached out to her. Giving evidence. Beth's former partner Matthew Parkinson said he first met Beth in around 2014 when they worked together at a water sports center and that they bought a house together in 2017. He said in the early part of their relationship she was very protective of her mental health and would put a smile on and carry on.